What's up? What's up? It's Dave. Welcome to Spectrum DIY. I just wanted to show you guys what I've got going. I finally had time to, amongst this pile of debris, I fixed this power supply. And this is just here for a test. I'm going to set that over to the side. This little. So, here's what we got. Unplug it. Pick it up. Just give you a quick little tour. This is the new power supply. I've got it off and on switch and I left the fan intact and was able to put in a five volt, three volt, 12 volt, zero and negative 12. And so turn that off and off position and we'll give it some juice. And then I want 12 volts because I've got a 12 volt LED strip for testing, which is leading right here. So then I'll take this little LED. This I tore this out of the Halloween synthesizer. So it's gonna be an orange, orange light. And I was frustrated about the amount of shadows I ran into last time. So I added yet another light in here. So it's a little bit glary so all right i'm gonna pause my camera and hook these up because it's hard for me to hold my camera and hook these up i apologize so one moment you didn't miss anything at all all i did was just hook that here and hook that to here that's kind of frustrating so i hit the pause button we are hooked up here and when i flip the switch boom now we have 12 volts giving power to our leds which are orange. That's from the Halloween synthesizer for you guys that don't know like why this thing is an orange strip. But it's all proper. It's got nice, nice neat housing. And I can unplug and I can give it three volts, which does not even turn the lights on. Or I can give it five volts, which should just barely turn it on. Here it is. Looks like, yeah, this is barely turning on. And then if I need a full 12, I can come over here. Boom. And I've got nice, neat, convenient power. So now when I go to test modules like this TR-808 kick module or the DIY VCO module, which is going to be next, uh, I can just plug in my little test leads and clip on and good to go. I also have a blue and a green one over here so the blues for the negative 12 and i did not have an orange otherwise i would have used orange for three volts but zero needed to be black for me and blue is negative 12 yellow is 12 volts and red is five volts so the only one left is orange but all i had was green so that's why that's green and so this can plug into a 12 volts when i test the synthesizer audio and then I'll have these. Now, the reason I don't have a yellow cable, I did, but I tested it with my meter because for some reason I was not getting power to my LEDs and I'm sitting here, I was worried about that. And so, yeah. And one thing you should be aware, when you unplug these things, you should turn them back on before you unhook because you see how much juice is left in this power supply. There you go. Now it's all the way drained. So just something I wanted to share with you guys, be a little quick four minute video and call it a day. So I appreciate you guys stopping by.